Hi, this is Nancy at Tipping and Painting Hamden. We're located at I-25 and Hamden in Denver. I have a silly kind of painting for you today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fun elephant. And let me tell you, uh, today is May 12th. It's the day after Mother's Day. We've been in quarantine slash isolation for two months, eight weeks. And so I've had to close my business, um, lay off all the employees and uh, man, it stinks. So if you wanna paint a nice COVID-19 frustration painting with me, let's have some fun, okay? All right, first you're gonna take your spray bottle or water on a brush and you're just gonna coat your canvas with it. I'm doing that because Denver is a very dry place and paints dry out really quickly. What I've got here are acrylic paints and I have a rainbow of colors. You can use any acrylic paints you want. I have white, black, blue, green, yellow, and red, just like you'd use in kindergarten, just primary colors uh, and some secondary colors. Easy peasy. I also have a whole bunch of brushes, large, medium, small. I've got a couple of detail brushes and a fan brush. You can use whatever you want, because you know what? We're gonna wing it, okay? We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna wing it, we're gonna pretend to get our COVID-19 frustrations out on this canvas. You with me? All right, let's do it. I don't know about you, I am tired of being cooped up. Tired of having my business closed. Tired of being afraid. So what do you do when you're feeling bad? You paint. Bob Ross said, any day is a good day when you paint. So we're gonna paint, okay? All right, <clears throat> so I've got my big brush. I've got some blue on one side of the brush. And on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna pick up some white. See that? So white on one side, blue on the other. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do dabs all over. I'm gonna cover this whole canvas with half white and half blue. And I want it to be very bright and fun and wispy. Uh, so I got globs or polka dots or whatever you wanna call those. And I'm just gonna plop them around and get all my COVID-19 frustrations out on this canvas. All of them, all of them, just, all right, take that closure, take that quarantine, take that face masks, take that federal government that doesn't have a freaking clue how to deal with this pandemic. Um, Take that, you wretched, wretched disease. <laughs> Excuse me, I honestly don't have it. I do have allergies though. Um, and it is, there's a lot of pollen in Denver right now. So if you heard me sneeze, don't panic. I'm fine. But it sure feels good to be angry at COVID-19 and all that comes with it while I paint and just pretend that you're taking out your frustrations on the canvas. Painting is a fantastic stress relief, reliever. Um, this is an acrylic painting, so it's not anywhere near the same as a Bob Ross painting. Those are oils, um, and those take a certified instructor and a certified technique and all that, and certified materials. <clears throat> Coincidentally, I am a certified teacher, but that's not what we're doing here today. This is an acrylic painting. Okay, so, and what Bob used to say, Bob was a drill sergeant, did you know that? So he would yell at people all day in the military, and then he'd come home and paint, and he would paint lovely little paintings, but I suspect he would come home and he'd still have a little bit of that adrenaline coming out after yelling at his uh, charges all day in the military, and painting probably felt real good. And those stormy skies that he created, I bet he had a good time creating those after a rough day at, at work. All right, so we've got this fun, wispy, blotchy, messy, blue and white background. We got out a bunch of our frustrations, all right? Cool, we're gonna keep going from there. That didn't take long, don't be fussy. No worries, now acrylic paint dries in about five minutes. It's very fast. The drier your climate, the faster your paint will dry. In Denver, it's about five minutes. 
if you live in a very wet place, uh, you know, Indonesia or Seattle or Portland or someplace that has a ton of water, then uh, it's gonna take longer. So uh, just keep that in mind. But in Denver, it's pretty dry. We're semi-arid here, so it dries really quick. All right, so I've got that on there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my baby brush. I'm gonna dip it in the white paint and I'm gonna draw the shape of my elephant. And then I'm gonna go over it later in black. But I just wanna get a general idea. So the first shape I'm gonna do, watch carefully, is I'm gonna do a rounded square. It's like a cube, okay? It's basically the same shape as on Instagram, their little logo, okay? So that's gonna be the elephant's head. It's not gonna, I'm gonna change it of course, but I just wanted you to see where I'm starting. And then an elephant has these cheekbones that stick out. So I'm gonna put a little lump there, okay? They also have, <clears throat> uh, elephant's head is a little bit bigger on top than it is at the bottom. So I'm rounding it out and making it a little bit bigger there, okay? And then, there you go, those cheekbones, okay? And now the elephant's trunk is gonna come right out of the base of this square. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit from that corner, and then I'm gonna bring it down like an ice cream cone. Around the corner, ice cream cone, okay? See that? And then I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna come around and loop up the trunk, and then double back, there you go, okay? Are you starting to see it now? All right. Now, elephant's ears, they come way up here, a little higher than that rounded corner, and I'm gonna bend it, and then down, and then bloop, and then bloop, and then bloop again, and it's gonna come down like that. Huge ears, elephants have huge ears, especially the babies, they're awfully cute. Let's pretend this one's a baby, maybe. We'll see how he turns out. So we got some, of these edges on our ears, uh, oops, and in. Now that ear is bigger than the other, so we'll just have to figure it out. Yeah, it's close enough. All right, cool. So that's that's the basics of it. And then his head has some trunk tusks sticking out. So there's little, like, I don't know what these are called, but little areas where the tusk's gonna stick out. And then the tusk is like a curve. Okay, tusk is like a curve. So you can stop and start this video anywhere you want, okay? So if you're not with me, you just go ahead and stop the video. Easy peasy, got it? And then we'll, the eyes, we'll worry about the eyes later. Well, in fact, we won't worry, we'll just take care of it. All right, so this was my sample from the other day. I didn't really like it, uh, so I'm gonna do it again. It's, it's just not bright and happy enough, and, I figured, man, I've been frustrated, super frustrated. The FedEx guys don't come when they're supposed to come. I have all these packages that I'm waiting for because of COVID-19 now. I have to order everything online. So man, I've just been frustrated. So what I'm gonna do, this is another inspiration photo. I actually bought this one from another artist. So I'm gonna use it as well as the other one. Now I've changed mine a bit. All right, and I'm gonna come down and make these feet. Uh, so it's curved here, curved here. The bottom uh, is just like a U. This is like a U down here. And then it curves in a little bit, goes up. Now in this particular painting, they have a curved line there for a foot, or the suggestion of one, and one there. They don't have a tail in it. Uh, but like I said, I use, you know, paintings that I see or that I purchased uh, as inspiration to do my own. Everyone else's work is an inspiration and mine ends up different every time. So I put a little tail off between the ear and the body, just coming out from behind. So this is not perfect by any stretch. In fact, I might want to make his head a little bigger. And now that I have that outline, I can do that. Okay. You can always make something bigger after you sketch it on, but it's real hard to make it smaller. 
So keep that in mind when you're sketching on what you're doing, okay? And then there's gonna be some lines in there. So hopefully that's looking like, like a, an elephant. So I'm gonna give you a second. I'm just gonna put on some grass. That's pretty easy. You can just watch me and see how it goes. Oh, let me show you a fan brush. This is kind of fun. Hello, fan brush. You guys know what a fan brush is? This is a fan brush. It looks like a rake or a brush, a broom. And so basically all I'm gonna to do to make this grass is I'm gonna take my fan brush, pop on both sides, and I'm gonna flick up. Whoop, 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 have fun, okay? Remember, it's post-COVID-19, or in the middle of it, and I'm gonna take out my frustrations, like, oh, take that FedEx that never shows up. Uh, take, and, and it's supposed to call before they deliver, and they never do. I'll probably get a call saying that my stuff's at a warehouse, and I gotta go pick up all 5,000 pounds of it. Um, all right, so that's one thing I can, all right, this is a former employee, no, all right, we won't go there. Uh, this is, oh, this is that neighbor I saw with, the, with his group of friends having a party and no mask, dang, I'm going to take my frustrations out on that one. How about some green, let's do that. Uh, what else we got? Let's get those political parties that, for the life of them. They cannot agree for five minutes on how to take care of the American people. And, oh, not working, not working, not working. Change has got to come. All right. Just have some fun with it. Paint your grass in, all different colors. Um, the elephant's going to be, uh, you know, in that environment. And uh, just have some fun with it, okay? I'm going to put my brush back in the water. Always swish, clean your brushes really well. Here's my water jar. It's already dirty, that's okay. You clean it off in the water, swishy, swishy, little fishy, and then you dab it on a napkin and make sure it's nice and clean. I always keep my brushes in the water in between painting. Okay, so I've got my outline of my elephant, I've got my grass, and I'm looking at my elephant. His head's a little squat, squatty. His a squatty potty head, okay. So we're gonna make him a little bigger yet. But remember, you can always do that. When you have a painting, you can always add, make it bigger. It's hard to take paint away, but it's real easy to um, make the shape bigger and work from there. Now, this is a fun painting in that all I have to do is put on a variety of colors and wing it. Last, I'm going to put on the outline, uh, but until I get to that point, I'm just gonna put on some colors. I'm gonna have fun. It's like, okay, here's taking care of me, right? Here's taking care of me. I'm painting, that's about me. It's not about my kids, not about my husband, not about my work, plop, 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 plop. Express yourself, okay? Now I'm gonna pick up some red and let's do it again. All right, this is the frustrations with your job that's much harder or Maybe you're laid off and nobody has to be laid off. And newsflash, the employers didn't want to lay off either. They didn't want to close up. But maybe that's what that's about. So you got some colors in there. Whew, that's frustrating stuff. So you want lots of color. All right, now let's see what else. Let's, uh, let's put in here, hmm, what's frustrating about COVID-19? Oh, this is your worry. This is your worry about grandma. Dang, I'm so worried about her. And she needs she needs visitors and I can't go visit. Had a, plans to go there and can't even visit her. And I know she's all alone and it's far away. And man, that's what all this is about. These colors are expressing, dang, I'm really, really worried about my grandma. Okay, anyway, have fun. Have fun with your painting. Just put in whatever colors you want. All right, now the head on this one's a little bluer. So I'm gonna go into my white, I'm gonna go into my blue, and I'm just gonna dab in this very abstract painting, okay? What I mean by that is that sometimes we want things to look really lifelike, realistic. It's not realism, it's abstract, and basically it's just, you're painting your impression of something. And when you paint your impression of something, 
It doesn't look exactly like it in real life, not even close. It's whatever evokes in you, the mood, um, how you're feeling, uh, what you see when you look away. Actually, there's uh, impressionism is more like that. I, I was in Paris last year. It was on my bucket list, finally got a chance to go and went to the um, uh, Monet's garden. Oh, that was amazing. So a whole bunch of Monet stuff. And I, what really struck me is somebody asked him why he painted the way he did. And what he said was that his, you know, he, he came after the realists, right? The Rembrandts and uh, Da Vinci and all that. And he said, what I paint is what you get after you look at something and then look away. I thought that was brilliant. I love that. So anyway, if there's a continuum, meaning if there's one extreme on this side and one extreme on that side, the realists, they paint things just the way they see them. The abstract people, they paint things in their head. Impressionists are somewhere in between. They paint the image as if you, your eyes were blurry or you looked away. Anyway, lots of fun to talk about, lots of fun to do. And so I'm just creating some color inside of this elephant. Do I care much about if it looks like an elephant at this point? No, I really just want to get some colors on that. And you'll notice I'm not even cleaning my brush. All right, I'm just going in there and I'm dabbing in colors. I'm letting them mix. If I'm feeling purple, I pick up some purple. If I'm feeling green, I pick up some green. And you know what? This will all dry in about five minutes. So if I don't like it, who cares? I can go in and change it. I can change it to other colors. But you know what's great about painting? And look at how pretty my brush is. See that? It's lots of different colors. The great thing about painting is it doesn't matter. My painting doesn't have to look like anything for me to be happy. It doesn't. This is to please me. It's not to please anyone else. No one else. And in fact, with all that's going on in the world, we just gotta look out for ourselves and get by, don't you think? Yeah, I want you to do that. I want you to just relax, paint. Don't take your frustrations out on your kids or your husband or your, God forbid, your pets or anyone else that's vulnerable. Just start painting, just start painting. Remember Bob Ross being a drill sergeant? Think of him and think of how he used to go paint and it used to calm him down, calm you down. Painting always calms me down. This is calming me down. Yeah, I'm glad you're painting with me today. All right, so I've got some general shapes. I've got some color thrown in there. And um, yeah, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. And you know what? These days, that's pretty good. If I don't hate something, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna stick some more color in there somewhere. I don't know where, maybe here. Here's a great thing. You do you, you just have fun doing you, okay? Uh, I don't know where else. I don't know. You, you find places where you want color and texture and fun and you do you. We're gonna come in and outline these shapes better with black, but that's after we get a bunch of colors blobbed on. And try to keep that shape as best you can, even though you've got those colors in there. All right, cool. That was fun. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this, clean my brush really well, I'm going to dip this tiny little brush into the black paint. I'm going to go ahead and make some toenails. Ready? Woo! Pretty toenails. Pretty toenails. And you know what? The spa is not open yet in Colorado. And so he can't get, I don't think it is, he can't get his little toenails painted yet. So guess who gets to do that? Woohoo! All right. There's some little toenails. And I'm going to outline this little foot. Bob Ross used to call feet foots. For a drill surgeon, he's a pretty silly guy. I wish I knew Bob in person. I teach his classes, his oil painting classes. Like I said, this is not one of them. 
but I do teach them frequently at Sipping and Painting Hamden. I really love his philosophy and his technique, and I, I bet I would have had a good time with him. He seems like a great guy and pretty fun and pretty silly. And uh, I, think I, I think Bob and I would have been friends. All right, ears, here you go. Black paint. Now, if it breaks, or if you, if your paint breaks, or you end a line where you weren't supposed to, nobody cares. Remember, this is supposed to be you having fun, relieving stress. In fact, if you are a wine drinker, I highly recommend having a glass of wine before you paint. If you're not, don't worry about it, that's fine. I'm drinking water today because it's the middle of the day and I've been waiting all day for this FedEx guy, all day. And guess what, I waited all day yesterday, I waited all day the day before, I waited for four days because they told me four days ago my stuff that I'm waiting for would come. And you know what, nothing. When I go on the site, it says, Something like delivery halted or something. And I talked to a bunch of people on the phone and, the, and they all agreed that it says that they're supposed to call first. But something just tells me I'm gonna get a note saying, I've gotta go down to the warehouse and pick it up. So anyway, if you work for FedEx, sorry. But they're not on my good list today. Usually they are. I love delivery people. I love most people. I'm happy with people. But sometimes, if they're doing shortcuts and not doing their job, then I'm not so happy. I bet you can relate to that. Okay, so that is a continuation of this trunk going up over an eyebrow. Let me show you on another one. I have a few different inspirations that I'm working from. Oops, that's not it. Well, here's one. This is that one yesterday. Uh, he didn't even have eyes. You just got an eye. You don't have pupils in your eyes. Whoopie, whoopie. Okay, now he does. All right. Anyway, uh, I kind of did that on this one too. Pulled the top of the trunk up and made it into like eyebrows. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to. It's kind of weird looking, but hey, it's my painting. I can do whatever I want. Bob said so. Okay, so. Remember those little things on the face? Holds the tusks, and then here's the tusks. We're gonna be filling all that in with white paint in a minute. That tusk. Never buy anything made out of animal ivory. It's so cruel how they get it. Killing an innocent, sweet animal just for some part of its body. Terrible. Shame on humans. Shame on us, all right. And somehow I'm going to connect up. I'm not done yet. Don't judge me. All right. Not that you were, but. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get a little eye. I, elephants have saggy, baggy eyes. So do I. I started out today thinking I was going to have these really, really good makeup on. Then I was waiting all day for FedEx, getting madder and madder. And I went to Wahoo's and I had a margarita. Woohoo! That was fun. And sad and lonely. But it did make me chill out a bit. And I need to be chill these days. Okay. All right. So I've got a basic elephant. And I'm going to wipe off my black paint on my brush. I gotta let that dry before I can put some color in his eye. Um, some white in his eye and also some uh, white polish and then uh, white tusks. So I've got to let all this dry a little bit inside of my little elephant guy. I'm liking him. I wasn't really happy uh, yesterday when I made that one. Um, but you know what? So I decided when something's tough and difficult and it's frustrating and you never want to do it again, that's the best time to pick up your paintbrush and try it again, you know, because that's how we grow. I'm sure Bob Ross wasn't a good painter the first 12,000 times he painted something, but he kept at it. 
And I kept at it too. And by the way, I started painting when I was 50, okay? And how old am I now? I was born in 62 and this is 20, so. At the end of this year, I'm gonna be 58, holy cow. Anyway, if you haven't started painting yet and you're just watching me, paint, dang it. Go to any store, you can go to Michael's, I love Michael's, or you can go to, you can go to that other place that's like Michael's and I don't like, or you can go to uh, even the dollar store. You can go to Walmart. I'm not a fan of there, but uh, you can go anywhere. There are paint supplies anywhere. Okay, so this just makes it a little more fun. And I'm going to put a few more on there. Green. I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm kind of just letting them all blend together. I don't know why I'm doing these marks, but it kind of reminds me of like a parade. I'm not a circus, circus fan. Not a fan of hurting animals in any shape, way, or form. But it's kind of fun to just have this going on, like maybe maybe in his world he has a parade going on, you know? Maybe he's a returning hero from something. Who knows? My little elephant friend. All right, now I'm going to take that baby brush again. I cleaned it off, and now I'm going to fill in his little toenails white so they stick out. And all I have to do is start with a dot in the middle and then circle out. Anytime you make a circle when you paint, put a dot, go around it, circle out. And I notice how I'm putting my pinky on the canvas to steady it. That helps me steady my finger so that I can get a better circle, okay? All right, just gave him a little pedicure. It's a little cutie. Put my finger there, round and round. By the way, for those of you who are watching that have kids and you've been in quarantine or isolation with your kids, they've been off of school, boy, my heart really goes out to you. My kids are all grown. I love my kids, uh, but as someone who uh, survived raising children, my heart really goes out to you. That's so tough to be around them all the time. And especially if they can't ever go visit grandma or grandpa, that's really hard and tough. Our aunts and uncles and people are having to be real careful with play dates even. It's a tough time to be a parent. It's a tough time to be a family. It's a tough time to be anything right now. Boop, boop. Hello, little elephant, you're cutie. All right. Okay, and now when that dries, I can put a little more, another dot on there for his pupil. And uh, he's totally different than his friend from the other day, and I'm good with that. Oh, let's do his tusks. All right. Hopefully this isn't gonna smear, because I'm starting pretty quick. All right, I think I'm gonna pull him up here. I don't like that thing. I'm just gonna make his tusks longer. You know why? Because my world, I can do what I want. When you paint, it's your world. You can do whatever you want. All right. Doop. I want to empower you to get some paints, or some chalk, or some crayons, or some colored pencils, or whatever you want, and just start creating, even if you're terrible at it, okay? Have a glass of wine if you can have wine and just relax and enjoy painting um, because painting painting is good for your soul. I don't know what it is. Creating something out of your imagination and that comes through your hands, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't make any difference. Just It's just good for you. It feels good and you know, maybe you love it, maybe you hate it. I hated this one yesterday but it really just depends on your mood. And uh, I could paint this 50 times and each time it would look totally different. And sometimes I'd like it and sometimes I'd hate it. And hey, you know, there's those lines in elephant ears. Let's do some of those. Um, it doesn't matter, None, nothing matters. That's the thing about painting, nothing matters. Relax, have fun. And then after you do it a few hundred times, you'll get really good and impress your friends. Who cares if you don't impress them the first five times or ten times? Who cares? Impress yourself. You deserve it. All right. So this was just a quick little elephant tutorial. 
and I hope that you will pick up some crayons or markers or pencils or something and just start creating. Start painting whatever you want. Just have fun with it, okay? All right. Will you be good to yourself, please? All right. This is Mama Nancy signing off right after my little elephant has some pupils. And uh, I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to put one more stroke of white right there on his tusk so the tusks really stand out super bright. I don't know if I can do it now. It might smear again. Let's give it one more try before we call this video done. And then we're going to move on into another video of a similar kind. May, may you want to do some cherry blossoms with me? How does that sound? It's the season and they're pretty. They're fun to paint. All right, there you go. Maybe. All right. Mama Nancy signing out. Be good to yourself, okay?